Now let us see how we can employ these two laws KCL and KVL to analyze a circuit. The first method of analysis is called as nodal analysis. It is based on the nodes. Okay. Here we will find the node voltages. Hence it is called as nodal. So first step what we do is identify the nodes. Okay. Identify all the nodes in the circuit first of all. Then one of the nodes should be assigned as a ground node. Okay. We need a reference to calculate voltage of any node. So we will connect one node to the ground. That will be my reference node. Then we will use KCL at every other node. Okay. At rest of the node we will use KCL. Except ground node we will use the KCL at every other node. Now in order to write the KCL equation we need to know some basics. Okay. Let us see here. Suppose it is a 5 volt battery. Okay. This is the positive terminal and this is the negative terminal. Okay. So let the positive terminal voltage is VA and the negative terminal voltage is VB. So if I ask you what is the relation between VA and VB? The relation between VA and VB is VA minus VB is equals to 5. Or you can say VA is equals to VB plus 5. It says that voltage at terminal A is 5 volt more than the voltage at terminal B. This is the meaning of this. It is basically at lower potential than this terminal. Okay. This terminal is at higher potential by 5 volt. Okay. This is the meaning of this. Now in second case we have a resistor. Okay. We have two terminals. One of the terminals has voltage VA and other terminal has voltage VB. Now if I ask you what is the current in this direction. Okay. What is the expression of current? So the expression of current is I is equals to VA minus VB by R. Remember that if I want the current in this direction then expression will become VB minus VA by R. Okay. Remember that. Now in the third case we have a battery along with the resistor. Now we want the current in this direction. But you can see here at one of the terminal we know the voltage is VA. But on the other side of the term terminal of resistor we don't know the voltage. But just now we saw that the relation between the V and VB. So we can find out the voltage at this point. It will be VB plus 5 because the voltage here is VB and there is a jump of 5 volt minus 2 plus you can see here there is a rise of 5 volt. We are moving from minus 2 plus 5 volt. So here the voltage will become VB plus 5. Here is VB. Here it will be VB plus 5. Now we can find the current easily. It will be I is equals to VA minus VB plus 5 divided by R. Okay. Now let me show you this by an example. Suppose this circuit is given to me. I need to write the nodal equation. So he here we have a four nodes. That is a let's say this is a node A. This is node B. This is node C. And this is node D. Let the voltage at node A is VA, here is VB and the voltage at node C is VC. So first step is I have to identify the nodes. So I have identified all the four nodes. Now next step was I have to assign one node to the ground potential or we have to connect it to ground. So let me connect this node to the ground. I have connected here this to ground. I am left with three other nodes A and B and C. Now the voltage at node D will become zero because it is grounded. It is a very important point. Now I am left with three other nodes A, B and C. Now let us write a KCL equation at node A. Now let us assume at node A all currents are going outward. Okay. Outgoing. So according to KCL outgoing current is equal to incoming current. But there is no incoming cur current at node A because I have assumed all the currents are going outgoing. So there is no incoming current. Sum of all the outgoing currents will become zero because incoming current is zero. Now the current in this branch is 2 ampere. So write it 2 ampere because, because it is outgoing we will use a plus sign. Okay. Now current in this branch will be VA minus 0 divided by 1 because at, the, at this terminal voltage is 0 and this terminal voltage is VA. So it will become in this direction the current will become VA minus 0 by 1. Similarly in this branch VA minus VB by 2. Okay. Plus VA minus VB by 2. And similarly in this branch the current is 3 ampere write it plus 3. In this branch it will be on this terminal voltage is VA and, and this terminal voltage is VC. So current will become plus VA minus VC by 5. Okay. Is equals to 0 because there is no incoming current. So sum of all the outgoing current will be 0 because incoming current is 0. Now simplify this equation by applying LCM. You will get the equation this. Okay. This one. Let us say this is the equation number 1. Now similarly apply the KCL at node B. Okay. This node B. Let us assume the current in this branch is going outward. In this also outward. In this also outward. Now in this branch you can see here the 3 ampere is incoming. So what will be the outgoing current? 
outgoing current will be minus 3 ampere okay so let us write minus 3 now current in this branch vb minus 0 by 3 okay plus vb minus 0 by 3 similarly in this branch vb minus va by 2 vb minus va by 2 now in this branch we cannot write kcl equation why because there is no resistance in this branch we cannot write vb minus vc by 5 because it is a voltage source not a resistance this branch is containing purely a voltage source there is no resistance so we cannot write a kcl equation so let us assume in this branch the current is moving i okay let us assume current i is moving it is outgoing let us write plus i okay so there there were four currents at this node one two three and four i have written all the current equated to zero now come to node c now at node c apply the kcl incoming is equals to outgoing there is one incoming current i in this branch and let us assume rest all the currents are going outward okay now write the kcl equation incoming is equals to outgoing okay so i is equals to incoming i is equals to outgoing first of all write in this branch vc minus va by 5 vc minus va by 5 plus in this branch vc minus 0 divided by 4 plus vc minus 0 by 4 similarly in this branch 5 ampere is flowing plus 5 so we have applied the kcl equation incoming is equals to outgoing this was the incoming and these all are outgoing now you can substitute the value of i in this equation okay in this equation so from this equation copy this part it is minus 3 vb minus 0 by 3 vb minus va by 2 okay i have copied this one now substitute the value of i from here so i have substituted the value of i vc minus va by 5 vc minus 0 by 4 plus 5 so i have substituted here is equals to 0 now try to solve this equation okay now we get the equation like this this is let us say equation number 2 but we have a three variable va vb and vc so we need three equation okay so from here we can get the third equation you can see here there is a there is a voltage source and we have two terminal vb and vc so we have a relation vb minus vc is equals to 5 you can see here this is at higher potential vb is at higher potential by 5 volt than vc so i have written vb minus vc is equals to 5 this is our third equation okay now we have three variable three equation so put all these equation into the calculator okay from calculator you will get the value of VA is equals to minus 4.44 volt VB is equals to minus 2.23 volts and VC is equals to minus 7.23 volt at most in an examination you will encounter three equation because our calculator can solve only three equations simultaneously and then when you find the node voltages you can also calculate any current by using this expression like if you want the current in this branch you can easily calculate simply VB minus 0 by 3 put the value of VB you will get the current Similarly, if you want the current in this branch, VA minus VB by 2, okay? Similarly, in this branch, current will be VA minus 0 by 1, okay? So, in this way, you can calculate the current in any branch once you find the node voltages, okay? So, this was all about the nodal analysis. See you in the next lecture.